The British Museum in London is holding an exhibition to celebrate South African culture. The show is titled South Africa, the art of a nation. They're increasingly being recognized by museums and galleries around the world. So we decided to link these two narrative points and tell a history of South Africa through artworks. In a corner exhibit sits a glass case holding a pitted reddish brown stone. This has become the treasure with the most attraction. The Makapanschat pebble is on display for the first time in its three million year history. So the Makapanschat pebble is the earliest object in the exhibition. Um, it's three million years old. It was found near the remains of Australopithecus africanus, um, a very early uh, ancestor of, of humans. Um, and it's important, we believe, because it's not from the Makapanskat cave where it was found. It could be up to from a location up to 40 kilometers away. And the question is, is how did it get to that cave? Um, and we believe it was carried by those Australopithecus africanus. Um, and we, what, why was it carried there? We believe it was carried there because of the face-like features on the stone. Those features are natural. They've not been made by human hands. The naturally formed pebble, also known as the stone of many faces, was found in Makapan Valley in South Africa's Limpopo province. The stone, found near some Australopithecus remains in the 1920s, fascinates archaeologists. Many say the pebble reveals that the early hominid had some sort of capacity for symbolic thinking, which was necessary for the development of art and language. Uh, so the very earliest exhibit in the exhibition uh, is the three million year old Makapanskat pebble. Um, we then have uh, a rock art panel that's between 1,000 to 3,000 years old. We also have contemporary artworks from 2013. Other notable exhibits in the British Museum show include anti-apartheid memorabilia, a photography section of former President Nelson Mandela and numerous other artefacts, many of which are thought to be thousands of years old. The exhibition runs until February 26, 2017. Matthew Edwards, CCTV.